Hi, I'm Mary Beth Temple, and I'm going to show you how to turn a little knitted rectangle into a really cute headband. And we're going to do that sort of fake, twisted, sort of 1920 spa style seam. When you read the instructions, at least me, when I read the instructions, it didn't make any kind of sense to me. But once I saw somebody do it visually, it's super easy to do. So you're going to knit your headband. I use seed stitch because I just wanted to get some texture in here and you can make it as wide or as narrow as you want, and you can make it as long as you want. This is a bulky yarn and a seed stitch for stretchy texture. So I'm going to fold it together with right sides together. Now for this piece, right side, wrong side, doesn't matter. But if you have a piece with a definite right side, you wanna fold your right sides together. So I'm going to take the one on my left hand and I'm going to make it into a C shape. And I'm going to take the one in my right hand and I'm going to make it into another C shape. Well, it's like Pac-Man. They're going to come at each other. And this C shape is going to nest inside this C shape. So I have four layers. One, two, three, four. I have two folds, one on this side and one on this side. And when I was knitting and fastening off, I left myself a super long tail to do this seam with. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that onto my tapestry needle. Now I'm going to close this up with a whip stitch because, again, for this particular shape of headband, I find it to be the easiest one to do. But I want to make sure that I'm going through all four layers, every stitch that I'm going through. I want to go through all four layers. So for a whip stitch, I can just come over the top and do it again. If you prefer to do, whoop, I lost a layer. See, that's why you have to count to four. <laughs> there it is. So I'm gonna go through this one, this one, this one, and this one. Come over the top. And I want it to be pretty tight because I want the little knot, the little faux knot to look interesting. So I want it to Stitch it up pretty tightly. One of the things I like about multicolored yarn is it hides a multitude of sins. <laughs> this uh, whip stitch is never going to show with all this color happening. And then I might head back in the other direction for a couple of stitches. Again, because I want this knot to hold, I want it to be super tight, the stitching. All right, I'm gonna catch that corner one more time, make sure I'm through everything. Take a little catch stitch. And weave it, I'm weaving it just under my seam to uh, fasten off. So here's my C-shaped seam that I just finished. Now I'm going to flip it to the right side. And I get this really interesting looking little twisty knot here. So you don't have to tie a knot. You just do that C-shaped seam. And you too can be a 1920s person who hangs out in a spa. But these are really fun to make. They're super simple to finish. And they're great gifts. <laughs>